Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. I'm talking today to Tammy Paulus, who's a senior business analyst with Fairfax Water. Tammy, uh, the water utilities, um, it, it's an interesting field and one that, you know, we don't talk about enough often. Uh, I think people take water for granted often, uh, but it's, it's one of our more valuable resources. Um, can you give us a bit of background first on Fairfax Water? You know, what kind of size are you? Who do you deliver water to? Uh, what kind of challenges are you facing? That kind of thing. Great. Uh, yes, Fairfax Water. We are the largest water utility in the state of Virginia. We serve, currently we serve 1.7 million people uh, water. And uh, one out of every five Virginians gets their water from us. We serve the Fairfax County and surrounding counties. Uh, we also are, one of our challenges, our immediate challenges, is we're acquiring two new water utilities in our area. And that's um, the other thing about Fairfax Water. We pride ourselves on being one of the lowest cost water utilities in the Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. Great. So you you give cheap water to people. Does that necessarily mean it's good water? Oh, absolutely. We have a, a lab group who, who does testing. We test uh, the, we have two sources of water. They do. They're very active in testing that and our customers can can request uh, at any time, what's the 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 sam what's the quality of the water? So we pride ourselves on giving the best lowest cost water in the D.C. area, and it's always available. <laughs> and and to to coin the phrase, do you do you eat your own dog food? Are you a are you a I'm a yeah I'm a Fairfax Water customer. I live in Fairfax County. I'm a I've been a Fairfax Water customer since 1999. So and it's been I've had uh, good good service from Fairfax Water as a customer. I do eat my own dog food, yeah. So uh, how do you manage to keep the prices down? Well, for us, I think it comes from the general manager on down. We, have, we, we are a public sector water utility. I forgot to mention that. So, you know, revenue, we're not tied to revenue, but we pride ourselves on always doing what's the least cost or what's the cost, most cost efficient thing for our customers. So everything always has to have a business case. We do a cost benefit analysis and it's always questioned from, from the general manager, the finance manager, is this going to fit our customers? Is this the best solution for our customers? So we pride ourselves on always thinking in, the, in, those, in those terms and all, the whole company does. Okay, and is technology helping out at all? Oh, absolutely. We've been using the SAP utility solution since 2004, and that has really helped us integrate all our solutions together from billing, from maintenance, and, and, and very importantly, financials. So that helps us manage all our, you know, manage the costs, manage our maintenance, manage our bills. Everything is all together. We've integrated financial statements in SAP that uh, even using the business object software, it's all, it's all come together and really helped us be more efficient for our customer. Okay, and <clears throat> I mean, water utilities and utilities in general have large issues around infrastructure management. How, how do you handle that? So that's handled also in, um, in, uh, in SAP using the, uh, predict the uh, plant maintenance solution. We also use um, uh, that, that, and we've been lucky because our, our infrastructure is relatively new compared to our surrounding uh, utilities, uh, surrounding jurisdictions like Washington, D.C., which to me has a lot of issues with aging infrastructure. So for us, we are very uh, active in you know, predicting what's going to go wrong, planning our maintenance. So that's, that's, part of, that's part of our whole company. Sure. And I mean, what are plans moving forward for uh, tech rollouts, uh, any, any interesting projects on the, on, on the, on the horizon and, uh, you know, to, to, to help you better serve your customers? Oh, absolutely. After, well, for sure, after our data migrations, I, I would see us giving us, giving more visibility into how our customers are using the water. How am I consuming the water? How do I compare to my neighbors? You know, how am I? Uh, so we've been we've been pr relatively lucky. We, you know, we haven't had to tell our customers to boil the water. We haven't had water shut off. We don't we don't uh, uh, regulate the water and say you can only water on every other day. So we've been fair, fairly lucky with that. But I think uh, I think given that um, people want to be more sustainable, I think they're going to want to see how am I managing my my water and how am I consuming it? And how do I compare to my neighbors? And smart meters? 
Smart meters, we have not looked at that yet. I think I think that is coming. Uh, what's interesting is the, some of these jurisdictions that we're getting, they, they have automated meter readings. And I think that that will come. I think that's going to that, that that's I think that's that's got to be that that's got to be on the horizon. I don't speak. I, I'm giving you my personal opinion. I don't speak for Fairfax Water, but I think that's that's going to happen for sure because I think people. I think not, and it ha, the customer demand doesn't hasn't happened yet. But I think that's going to happen over time. As people see the the advantages of the smart meters for electricity. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I get you know I can see that today with my own electric bill. I can log on and do all that, and 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 there's a lot of benefits to that, and there's a lot of incentives for the utility company as well. Tammy, that's been great. Thanks a million for talking to us today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Tom.